Hi everybody, it's Laura. I am back with another tutorial. Um, this is from the Cloudburst collection from Bargain Bead Box. It is the May subscription. If you're new to Bargain Bead Box, it is a monthly beading subscription service and it is shipped directly to your door for $19.49 a month. And I also have a code that saves you $2 off your um, first month subscription. And it's right here on the screen. It's all capitals, dragonfly with the number two. And um, you also get 30% off once you join to shop in their sister store all month long. So it's a really good deal. The link is below and in my pinned comments. Um, and I tell you, I struggled with this until I actually sat down and just made myself start making jewelry with it. And then it was like, it just tumbled and things started to present themselves to me. I have made a necklace. It turned out beautiful. The bracelet turned out beautiful. I love the earrings. And now, um, Wendy uh, Whitman posted, uh, she was making anklets. I got to tell you guys, I was like, I wonder, I've got these left, you know, um, why don't I make an anklet? So that's what I'm doing. Um, as you could see, I started to make this because I wanted to see how it would flow and how it would work to make this and to get it to go together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done here. This is simply, this little piece here is a um, eye pin. We're going to take our eye pin. We're going to put, um, this is the, um, do, 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 what do they call these? Oh my goodness. Can you believe this? I took them out of the bag and I should not have done that. Um, do I still have some in the bag right here in front of me? No, I don't. <laughs> um, these are the seven and a half by four millimeter matte glass cylinder beads with crystal AB. They are beautiful, but I wasn't sure how to use them. So I'm going to put this on a, um, that is what I did. No, that is not what I did. Did I? Yes, I used, is that what I used? Yes, I used the, I had to look because part of this I used these and part of this I used this. Um, and I will be using these remainders instead of um, wasting, and I know I had another piece here, but I'm, it kind of flew. So there it is, it went way up there. Um, so we're just going to take this, we're going to bend it, and we're going to make another loop. But um, I think before I do that, I want to back him off a little bit because I want to go ahead and loop him onto that piece. So we're going to open this up. I should have done this before I put the bead on because it's so much easier. We're going to open this. You're going to want to swing it open, not pull. And this takes a lot to get up. I need to put it on a small one, not a big one. And now we're going to close it back up. Now I may have to pause because I do have something cooking on the stove. Um, it's part of my cooking video. Um, everybody wants cooking videos to boot. And so we have this. I'm going to give it a little hug to push it closed to make sure it's on there tight and it has free movement. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend this over because all I'm going to do is make another loop. Um, so I'm going to give it plenty of room because I want my loop a little bit bigger. So about there, we're going to cut that piece off and then we're going to take my round nose pliers take it to the end and we're just going to make a nice good size loop and then after I make the loop I'm going to twist it open 
And we're going to put another one of these on. And I may not have twisted it far enough. And twisting it with these is probably the bad idea. Like I said, twisting it with these is a bad idea because I just dropped it. Um, because it doesn't twist quite right. So I'm going to twist, put this on, and then we'll twist it back shut. And then I'm going to give it a little huggy squeeze because I want to make sure that that is shut good. And it is. Now I do want to make sure that these are facing the same way. So I'm going to grab these two. Let's see how these pieces are facing two different ways. So I want to get a hold of them. And we're going to turn. Just turn one so that they're both facing A hold of it here just being stubborn I want them both to lay kind of the same direction and they're still not I need to use my flat pliers is part of my problem the other way there we go so they don't have to be perfectly crossed, I just want them across. So I'm gonna make some more of these loops. Um, okay, so when we started, you saw how I had these hooked together like this. Um, I've taken it apart because I have these jump rings. Now I did not check, and I should have checked first. That was a mistake. Now watch these actually not be big enough. They should be because I use them on the earrings, right? So I'm pretty sure that they will fit just like this and save myself a whole lot of time. And I know I'm using my round nose, nose pliers and I should not. They bend better and come out nicer using the actual pliers. And it looks so much nicer and so much more free flowing using the jump rings and that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I'm gonna keep on working on this. Um, again, we're going to use um, this, but we're going to open this first because I goofed up before and did not do this. Open it, add the little ring, Um, whoops, I can't believe that just happened. And then Oh my gosh, the ring kept keeps popping back up out. Close it back up. I'm sorry about my neighbors screaming. I just want to make sure that that's laying right and it's not going to come out. I'm going to go ahead, put this on, bend it, um, clip off the excess that we don't need. Roll a very simple loop. Open it using the pliers. Add one of these. Close it up. And I'm not in screen. Oh my gosh, this phone. Guys, I am so sorry. I just realized I've got to stay in the center of this phone or... I'm not in screen. So there's that link. And then we're going to do one more link. Right? Yes. So we're going to open this. 
because right now we've got one, two, Oh, let me get this last little piece off from here. Thought I had it off. I guess I didn't get it all off. Three. Let's measure that. Now your ankle is going to be a lot bigger, believe it or not, than your wrist. So um, I'm also adding a piece of chain to this um, so that everybody knows we're using chain also. Um, and then there's going to be one of these on each end. So I total, I should have a little over six inches. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish putting this together. Um, whoops. For some reason, I was thinking I needed, or maybe I was just gonna put one more link and not the chain. I think that might've been what I was doing. All right, or the chain, but I was gonna do one more like that. Um, you could tell I've been up for a while and my brain is scattered, open. Link, small link rather. That link just wants to go everywhere, doesn't it? I am again off the camera. I'm trying to get myself to stay in the center. It's not working. <laughs> um, another one of these cylinder beads. And then I'm going to Bend, clip off the extra. Whoops. Roll a loop. I don't, I think I've clipped, didn't clip off enough. Let me clip off just the hair more. Now I'll roll a loop. Sorry about that, guys. Straighten it up a little bit. Open it. Add this. Close it. This video is going to be so chopped up. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. And now... I guess we are going to end with a small one. Okay. Because I think what I was thinking is this would be enough to go around your ankle. But I don't think so because I know my ankle is pretty big. Yeah, my ankle is like eight and a half inches. So this is going here because I don't think I lost anything. Nope. And then we're going to add chain to this. And so let's get this all assembled really quickly. And I won't keep you on for the full assembly. I'm just going to show you how this is going to go together. It's simple. Hooking each piece in line like that. Make sure we bring that together. Listen for the click click of the metal. And give it a little squish squish. Another one. Always twist. Make sure you have enough room for that big one. Listen for that click click. There we go. Oops. 
twist. This is the one I started putting together earlier. Put it all on. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this all put together. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to um, put the chain onto this. I think I'm going to put it on this end over here. Yes. And this end will have... Um, the lobster clasp. So we're just going to go ahead and that needs to be opened a little farther because that's chunky. Add chain. This is the best way to decide how long this really needs to be. Listen for that click, click. It's all fastened. Now I'll put this in. Oops, I am so sorry, guys. That's the problem with having this right here in front of me like this. Okay, so it needs to be this long, but I'm going to add a little longer just for those people that have, you know, bigger ankles. Um, and then people that have smaller ankles can, you know, make it shorter or whatever they need to do. This is really sturdy, so I've got my big boys out. Um, don't try to cut this chain. It came in the May box with your regular cutters because you will destroy them. So I still have a piece of chain left to do something with. Perhaps another bracelet. Now on this end, I'm going to add this big ring. Why am I always grabbing those? We're going to open it up. And this ring came in the box of uh, jump rings. We're going to close it. Oh no, I got to put my clasp on. Let's get our lobster out. Put our lobster clasp on. Close it. And we still have a bunch of those left. Those came out of the stuff I got at Walmart, so I don't want to mix them with. And we're just going to hook it up. This is about the size of my ankle. Uh, guys, I've messed up both of my ankles, so I have really big ankles. <laughs> when you fall down and you end up on crutches because you messed up your ankles, you know. But most people's ankles are about eight inches. Seven, it's about eight, eight and a half inches. So mine's about eight and a half. So there you have it, guys. Beautiful ankle brace, anklet. I call them ankle bracelets, but there it is to go along with the um, other items that I made, the necklace, the um, earrings, the 
gosh, I can't remember what else I made. Bracelet. Um, it's a full, complete set. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you all. And I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.